All right there, Darren here. I'm in the shed, check it out. Shh, can't see it on various pages because I get wrong for advertising. Anyway, uh, talking about kale here, as you can see it. Uh, that's the purple, well, I'm purple sprouting, basis purple scarlet kale. Uh, really tall, I don't know why that's because obviously it's in the uh, polytunnel. Uh, it's done really well. Obviously, I've lost a lot of leaves underneath, but it's basically fed the chickens every day. Every day I've been coming down, uh, pulling one out, or uh, basically just feeding them. Yeah. Uh, also, I did kaleet. I don't know if I'm going to do kaleet next year, because I don't know. They're not exactly what I thought it would be like. Obviously, it's cross between kale and a Brussels sprout, but for some reason, they seem to like, like you could say, bolting away. You know what I mean? I thought it'd be like, I can't explain. I thought it'd be like a Brussels sprout, but basically like a little floret. But they seem to be like really sprouting like anything, so you have to catch them quite quick. Uh, so let's have a look around. Okay, let's have a look. So like I say, you've got the kaolettes here. So they're not... Where's my thing? There you go. I can do it here. So like I say, it's, it's Brussels sprout and all that. It's like it's more like a floret. I can't see the word. Floret. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'll be growing these next year. They just take up so much space. Uh, I don't know. And as you can see, the purple scarlet kale it's done okay in here but it's quite tall whether that's just uh, a thing because it's in the polytunnel and it's pulling because of the light uh, I've got some scar uh, some kale outside that is basically done okay obviously this year I've had quite a big problem as you can see with different various cabbages I've got here with the being ate by the uh, slugs because you know the band the slug pellets because you know the controversial thing of killing hedgehogs and all which i quite understand and i've tried a few organic pellets but they don't exactly i don't know they haven't done that well so anybody watching this video if you can actually you know <coughs> point us towards an organic pellet or some pellets that you know is good for environment that won't do much harm and all that please help us out uh so that's my little experience with kale. Uh, you know what I mean? I can't complain. I've done okay. But it just takes a hell of a lot of space. I must admit, I did 175 uh, brassicas. Did quite a bit and all that, but I didn't think how much space it would actually take. Uh, but with the purple, this. Uh, basically, I've seen something online where you can put a bit of oil on it and put in a dry fryer and you can eat like crisps so I'm going to take some of that on today and try that and see what happens whether it works whether it's not you know what I mean just a bit of olive oil some salt uh, so as it works it might be quite nice it might be a good way of using it up instead of the chickens getting all the uh, spoils of the uh, kale and everything so anyway so I'll we'll just have a look outside if I can get past everything As you can see, that's my kale outside. So whether that's because it's outside and the cold, because I did get told if I put uh, brassicas inside the polytunnel, they won't do that well. Well, they have done well, but whether because they bolted, they got quite tall because of the heat in there, I don't know. But that's me normal uh, kale, and it's been eight to hell. Basically, I felt like I've wasted my time. Uh, as you can see, my savoy cabbage is exactly the same. Uh, another cabbage, not exactly the best. You know, obviously the chickens have loved it because they've got free food. But you live and learn, don't you? Anyway, it's bye from me, Darren. I'm in the shed. See you later. Draw.